So do you want to see what the beach is like here at Marriott Ocean Point? Well, I'm going to show you coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before we get started taking a look at this beautiful beach here at Marriott's Ocean Point Palm Beach Shores on Singer Island in Florida, just want to let you know on this channel I like to share some of the best tips, strategies and advice on how to help you get the most out of your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, please be sure to hit subscribe down below. Also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Right now we're down in front of the Kingfish building here at Marriott's Ocean Point. And if you actually want to see a full explanation of all of the buildings here, there's actually five total at Marriott's Ocean Point. Click on this info card up here and uh, there's a video there where I give an explanation of the buildings, views, and villas at Marriott's Ocean Point. So let's jump right into it, the beach here at Ocean Point. Okay, so we're going to uh, turn this camera around and take a look. The beach is actually pretty good. We've been here a lot of times over the years and there's been times when the beach has almost been non-existent and other times where it's really wide and actually right now the beach is in pretty good shape. Nice soft sand, beautiful beach. There is some seaweed but uh, it does look like they have been raking some of it up at least so that is a good sign. Lots of turtle nests, so definitely watch out for those. Don't want to step on a turtle's nest. And uh, down here in front of Kingfish, they actually have the, uh, the jetty. A lot of people are kind of fishing here. The big monstrosity you see there is uh, the dredge that keeps the inlet, Palm Beach Inlet, clear for boat traffic. So while it's a big ugly monstrosity, it serves a pretty good purpose, I guess. But yeah, a lot of people down here. It is the evening. Um, well, not the evening, it's about 6 o'clock or so. And uh, there's still quite a few people out here on the beach. Though they have been cleaning up beach chairs that are available for rental from Oceanside Beach Services. So let's uh, take a look. I'll turn the camera around as we continue to walk up the beach. All right, so here is the beach. You can see how wide it is. There's kingfish. The dredge and then the Atlantic Ocean. The waves are pretty rough this afternoon. I've been seeing some people out on their uh, boogie boards and a couple of people on surfboards even. So definitely good conditions for playing in the surf. So as we continue up the beach here, you'll actually see a beach walk. This actually comes out at the south end of the main part of the property, I guess, out in front of Pompano building. So that is one way to get to the beach. And if you're actually down at Kingfish as well, they have their own access to the beach down there as well. So if you're staying at Kingfish, you have your own access to the beach. And then the main part of the resort up here actually has two accesses and we'll take a look at the other one because I'm actually going to go back into the resort over that one. So they've actually cleaned up all of the uh, beach loungers and umbrellas pretty much. But I'll insert some video here from earlier where I took some video of those loungers. They look to be pretty good quality with nice umbrellas and pretty nice cushions as well and it is quite a bit of a walk from Kingfish up to the main part of the property but we'll keep going see some more of that uh, seaweed there along the shoreline the water actually wasn't too bad it wasn't too wasn't too cold it wasn't real real warm just got my feet wet, but definitely swimmable. Okay, so here uh, the Oceanside Beach Services. They also offer quite a few, it looks like water sports and whatnot. They have some catamarans, some kayaks, paddle boards, quite a few different uh, activities. Looks like they also had like a 
snorkel tour excursion that you could go on. So I did talk to them about the cost for renting beach chairs for the day. Two loungers, one umbrella was $60 per day, which personally I actually think that's kind of high. We were up the beach before this and they were only charging 20. So it's kind of steep, $60. But if you rent for two days, it was only 50. For four days, it was only 45 per day. And four or more days, it was 40. So you got the whole week basically, it was $40 a day. Still kind of steep. So that is one downside to the beach here at Marriott's Ocean Point. Not really impressed with the cost of beach loungers. Now, we don't usually rent them anyway, but uh, kind of steep. So if you're coming to Marriott's Ocean Point and you want to lounge on the beach and rent their loungers, definitely plan for that. Okay, so we've made it up to the uh, north end of the property at Marriott's Ocean Point, and you can see here, this is the other beach walk that I was referring to earlier. And then you can see their other equipment here in the little hut that they rent from here as well. One more thing, make sure you bring your room key to uh, the beach with you because you do need it to get back onto the property. Okay, so there you have it. The beautiful, fantastic beach here at Marriott's Ocean Point on Singer Island, Palm Beach Shores, Florida. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see another video about Marriott's Ocean Point, you'll probably like the one up here. And YouTube is actually, they're suggesting this one down here for you. So also, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll be able to subscribe by clicking on my picture right here. And remember, until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.